have the head coach of the Eastwood Troopers, Coach Julio Lopez. Coach, how are you? Good. It's a great morning. You know, it's it's amazing what you guys have done, and really just the city of El Paso and growing El Paso high school football, the coverage they get. I mean, it's just it's another amazing event that the kids are lucky to have. And, Coach, I know that we're, we're going to get to some of the questions about how you're feeling, but how, how is the team feeling going into you got we're a few weeks away from from the season starting yeah it feels like last year just ended so it's kind of interesting <laughs> that we're here but um no they're excited you know coming off a year like last year a historic year where we went three rounds in um and i think it was your team coach in 05 yes, right sir. that went to, yes, to the third round and being able to duplicate that and being one of really i think only three el paso teams to ever do that um you know this it's an exciting time to be an eastwood trooper the kids are excited we have a couple new pieces and new faces that you're going to get to know this year and you know, we're just ready to get rolling. But when you look at, uh, you know, the kids coming up and uh, you know, w when you start practice, how do you see uh, the level of, uh, of talent that you're going to have both offensively and defensively that are coming back? Yeah, we love, we love the level of talent. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a little smaller senior class than what we're used to, but we have a lot of returning starters and experience from last year. So, okay. you know, we really feel great about our front seven. Our front seven on defense, you know, we think could be the best one we've had in eight years here. Um, you know, obviously we got to replace some key parts and Andrew Martinez, Sam Lopez, Luca, Carson. I mean, there's some key guys obviously every year that you have to replace. But overall, you know, you know, out of the wideouts, we returned three out of the four starters. Okay. The fourth one that's plugging in is a senior who really just didn't get playing time at receiver last year because we had a great kid in A-Rod in front of him. So we feel really good, um, you know, just overall about the, the, the level of talent on the roster and what we feel we can bring to the table this year. And what, what, do you, what do you think your benefit's going to be uh, from last year's uh, deep playoff run? And then again, congratulations. You know, it, it, it's really hard. Uh, <laughs> people don't realize how, it is, how hard it is to beat two out-of-town teams that you're not going to play here. You're going to play them you know, outside the city, and, and that makes it tough. But uh, uh, how do you think your, your kids coming back this year uh, you know, feel about that? Well, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing is for years now, so I'm going into year eight. And for seven years, we had been talking about that. Like, mm -hmm. look, we've had a lot of in-town success. We've done a lot of great things. We felt like we changed the culture of the program. It's expected now every time we get on the field to, w you know, to win that game. And I think at, over the years, we had built that. But we had been missing a deep playoff run, right. you know, and, and one that, you know, to go three rounds in, like I mentioned, only three have ever done it, you know, <laughs> you know and I'm sitting next to one of them. So <laughs> it is extremely hard to do that, but we had been building to that. And so I think coming off a year where we finally did that, where we got to that point and getting the taste of a, of a regional semifinal game. And, and I, you know, I think it just sets up well for the kids. We're now, you know, that's not, that's not reaching for the stars there. It's, hey, we've been there. We've done that. Now let's kick down the next door. Let's get to a regional final. Let's kick down the next door. You know, and I feel like we're just building year by year, you know, to hopefully one day get that magical run that you get yeah. to a state title game. And, and coach, I know you've talked a little bit about your experience, but give me some more in-depth actual names that we can look out for offensively, defensively. You know, sometimes we don't talk about offensive linemen or defensive linemen. So some names there that we can look out for uh, going into this year. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just start with the big boys, you know, and you got a couple of them here. You got Noah Medina, who's going to be a monster on the defensive line. You got Robert Lagarda, who really can play both ways for us, but will be a monster at defensive end. Uh, D'Angelo Amaya is returning starter on the defensive line coming back. Orion Cairo um, is our starting center, but he'll also play on the defensive line. You know, Jake Chanowski comes back as a running back and linebacker. And I'll tell you, the last six games where we really turned it around defensively, I felt like Jake was a main piece of that. Being in the middle of defense, us finally kind of making that move to go into a four-man front, putting him in the middle of our defense. I thought he made all the difference in the world. So, like I said, on, on the offense and, and then op offensively at tackle, Braden Ellison, he started as a sophomore last year. He's experienced. I mean, he's a seasoned vet, it feels like, by now as a junior. So he'll be at tackle for us. Um, and then, obviously, you know you know the, the premier names, too. You know, Curtis Murillo, Michael Caldera, Evan Macias. Those are the three starting wideouts coming back. Um, we got Nate, um, Nathan Gomez, that's going to plug into the, to A-Rod spots. Um, from last year and then you know the biggest name that you'll obviously that everybody's curious and gonna be keeping an eye on is the quarterback and that's Evan Minhadez and we you know we love Evan um, he, he won the job in spring you know we had a f great competition in the spring and he won it and you know we feel really good he's, he's a big kid when you see him right now you know he's every bit of six foot 210 um, and we just feel like he has all the tools to just be the next great quarterback in our system 
you know, and I feel we've, we've, we've really churned them out over the years. We've had some yep. really good ones, yep. and I think Evan is the next one. And then, you know, really a guy that we converted, Jace Molden, he's a huge tight end that now that in our offense where we can use in the red zone. He was a converted quarterback, so we'll have packages for him in the red zone. And, and um, you know, it's just, again, top to bottom, we just feel really good about the roster. And you, you mentioned that there was a uh, smaller – senior class so is there any underclassmen that kind of stick out right now at the moment we got a couple young kids that i think will project well um and, and again it's just gonna we're gonna have to find a role for them but we really feel good alex sanchez um and caleb flores were two guys that had i mean a great spring um and so we feel like those two guys have a chance to really blossom and have a breakout year um a lot of that depends on what happens in front of them because uh, those are skill guys so you know we'll see how kind of how they break out but you know overall again i, I think that for not having as big a senior class as we would normally have, we really have a lot of experience and depth. So, it, you know, for an underclassman to make an impact this year, again, it's, they're going to have to be pretty special and have a great camp and really show us that they can make it happen at the varsity level. And, Coach, there's nine teams in the district. It's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty tough. It's loaded. How do, you, how do you feel? How do your guys feel about the competition this year? Yeah, it's, I mean, every year there's so much parity. I, every year you show up and – you know, if you don't bring it that night, you get shocked, you know, and if you don't bring it that night, it, it's, it's an, you know, you, you really set yourself up to be upset or lo really lose any game, you know, on, on any given night. Um, to have nine teams in the district and eight district games, um, you know, it's going to be a grind. It, it, a lot of it, you know, people need to realize, too, a lot of it just, I, I don't want to say luck, but how healthy are you coming out of that? You know, do you hit your stride? At what point in the season do you hit your stride? I mean, at the end of the day, um, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but it, it's going to be an exciting year for the fans, for our programs, and, you know, it'll be good. Coach, uh, we, I think we want to wish you the best of luck this year. Yep. Uh, we know it's going to be pretty tough, uh, but, you know, you got a really stacked lineup, I think, offensively and defensively, and we know that you're going to find a way to turn it around with the quarterback situation, and we're excited to see it. Coach, do you have anything you want to finish it off with? No, I mean, we'll find out right off the bat with South Lake Carroll how good we are. So, <laughs> so, so we'll see, but I appreciate everything you guys do, and it's always a pleasure. Appreciate Thanks, it, Coach. Coach.